Yo, what is up, everybody? Hope everyone's doing well, kicking ass, taking names, and obtaining. We're here with a, another Lord of the Rings draft. I love this set. Um, probably top five favorite draft sets of all time. Way to go, Blizzards. You did good on this one. Um, they could have done a little bit better with green, but besides that, I think the set's pretty good. And even green is playable, but it's just not as good as black. It's like miles away. But, um, anyways, enough of chitter chatter. Let's get right into it. Golem, good card. I really do enjoy Golem. When you get this, and there's that one mana black dude that is so good with it. Basically, they fuel each other, and you can just always turn the one one that's gonna scry, scry for you into this guy. It's pretty simple. It's really nice. Uh. Rise of the Witch King, I really like this card too because there's a lot of these land cyclers, right? So you can land cycle early, play a dude that you want to be sacrificing anyway, sacrifice it, and then bring back like a 6-5 uh, that has to be triple blocked or something on turn 4 and taking out one of their creatures is just such a power play. Um, but uh, uh, Quick Beam is good, but again, green is just way worse than black, so... Um, I think I'm going to take the golem and let the next two people fight over those green and black stuff. Uh, I think that is probably the best play. Uh, Gorebag is not the best creature. It's fine. Mortar Muster is okay. Um, outside of that, this thing, search your library for legendary creature, then you search for another legendary creature, then your creature is getting double strike. Probably a pretty good card. I think if you take this early enough, it's a strong card. So I'm going to go with it. Um, haven't played this too much, but um, it seems quite powerful. This pack has some good cards. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 reasonable cards. Um, let's see. Legendaries to go with this. You have this guy and this guy. I guess this guy's good too, but I'm not going to take it after passing multiple good green stuff. Torment of Golem, I could take I could take this guy, but I think I would rather have multiple Torment of Golems than multiple of these. Um, Saruman is a good card, but um, it varies away from our two cards so far. I'm going to take the Torment of Golem. I think that's reasonable. Um, which one's this one? Target creature gains indestructible, return a creature from the graveyard, then guys gain uh, two creatures, gain lifelink. I think I'd rather just take a two drop. Uh, this card is really good too, and we did just pass a the really good red-white legendary, so maybe I should take this and see if the red-white stuff is still just coming in hot. Okay, here's a blue-white card. Probably the best card in the pack. Um, this human and this guy go good with this thing, but this guy creates a human. You could, I could see this card actually being like a three color and you're splashing this guy or something. Um, birthday escape, good card. Uh, the bird, noble is fine. Land cycler is always good. Um, hmm. Mm hmm, hmm. Or it's reasonable. Uh, this is tough. I think I'm going to go with the removal. Okay, here's another one. We're also going to take this. Uh, Soothing of Smeagol is good. Land Cycler is fine. Um, I think I'm going to take this. This is a fire self in white. I think that's pretty good. Ring Tempt. Draw a card, pretty good spell. Um, Improvised club and friendly rivalry are good, but yeah, I think I'm gonna take this. Let's see, we could take this guy. This is a multiple card draw thing. You can see me playing something like this. Okay, tap draw. Um. We'll see. Um, human warrior. We'll see. 
These three cards are definitely good, so I'm going to keep them in mind. Hmm. I feel like this is an alright spot. Like, um, we have one color solidified for sure, white. Um, but our second color is still kind of up in the air. If I just hard dove into, like, blue-white or into red-white, the deck would be, I think, a little bit better. But, okay, this guy. Wow, Orcus Bowmaster. I mean, this is the best card in the set. Um, so it's hard to pass this up. Quite hard to pass that. Um. Huh. This thing is really good if it were in this deck, but I think we're going to have to abandon that and just take this. And then we have, we're like three colors solidly right now. Um. This is the Scry guy. He's better in blue-green, but it's still just a solid card. Totally passable in other colors. This guy draws you a card, and I don't know if it's better than this. It's hard to say, but if we have multiple things that want to draw cards, it might be better. Mm. We have this that wants us to draw multiple cards. This wants us to draw multiple cards. I think I'm going to take this legendary. Those other guys come around. Um, Counterspell. Saruman. I think we're going to be trying to play multiple spells a turn. So I think I'm going to take Saruman. Um, we have a lot of legendaries. Maybe I took Saruman a little hastily there. I could have looked at the pack a little closer. Um... We have one, two, three, four legendaries right now to search up with this thing. And it just gives all creatures it, right? Creatures you control, yeah. Just creatures. Straight up all of them. Um, birthday escape. Pretty good card. Um, I think it's better than the land cyclers. Don't know if it's as good as this thing. That's close. Hmm. I think I'm going to take the birthday escape. I think I'm not going to play black, but for Orcish Bowmaster. Well, Orcish Bowmaster is just such a powerful card. I think that you just have to play it. Um... But otherwise, this deck looks pretty nice. Nice, the second of this. I think that's really good. We're going to be drawing multiple cards. Um, how many humans do we have? Five humans, and we have nine creatures. I mean, it would be pretty interesting to get this guy in there. Because, like, you could play this guy, cast a second spell, and then your whole team gets bigger. I don't know, but I think, I don't think that's going to be good enough with the, you can't, splashing it and Bowmaster seems like a lot, and I think I'd rather splash the Bowmaster. How many tokens do we generate? One? If one, two cards, three cards that generate tokens, um, is it better to just take Samwise? Um, hmm, that's tough. I think I'm going to go with Rosie, but I'm not honestly sure which of those was the better pick. Um, Hobbit Sting. I think I'm going to take another Birthday Escape. I mean, this guy wants you to draw multiple cards. I'm just going to take Birthday Escape. I like that card so much. This is not the best card. I'm going to probably not play it. We'll take this guy. Um, probably playing one of these is fine. Um, slip on the ring. Each creature you control, they all gain vigilance. That's playable. Hopefully pack three looks good for us. This card's not that exciting. You have four mana, four, four. Like, the first time you're attacking with it. Oh, man. 
Horn of Gondor. All right. We got a lot of humans, right? Okay, five. All right. Oof. Five is not a ton, but hey. We're about to... We're going to start picking up more, I tell you that. Um, human, noble, generates humans. Um, man, with this, it seems like it could be really good to horn, but... I think this card is so good on its own that you don't need things to go with it to make it better. It's just so good on itself. Human Advisor. Um, another legendary creature to search up with this. Mm, it's either this or Hobbit Sting, but I think it's clearly this guy. We have three black cards now. So... There's that, which we need to keep aware. We have three birthday escapes and one land that searches, so. Alright, Arwen's a gift. We should always have uh, multiple legendaries. With three of these, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve legendaries. Like, that's pretty good. Um, hmm. We play something like this. Play this guy. Don't think I want a third of these. Doesn't seem necessary. Yeah, I think this could be pretty good. This card's usually wheel. This guy's gonna wheel. Birthday escape won't wheel. Um, we'll take birthday escape. Maybe four is a lot, but whatever. And here's some removal. Definitely not passing that up. Remo removal right now is two of these, which aren't always the best, and then the banish, which is good. Um, yeah, this guy seems fine. Nice land cycler, something to do on turn one. I'd like to pick up a plane cycler, I think. That would be nice. Or even a, a swamp cycler would be better, actually. But I think it's a little late to try to pick up a swamp cycler. That's like one of the better ones. So right now this is 25 cards. Hmm. Put this here. I don't know which I'd prefer. Probably just one of each. Better to go wide, I think. Although we're going to be drawing a lot of cards, and this guy could grow pretty quickly. Uh, I think I'll take another one of these. I think five of these are a little excessive, but playing two, four and two seem good. Okay, that seems good. Counterspell is a good card. Although we're not the type of... Well... Not the type of deck to keep up mana because we don't have, like, instant card draw or flash creatures or anything. Still think playing one counterspell is pretty good. Okay. We only need to play maybe two swamps. We'll cut down on one of these. Play one of these. 13, 14, 15, and 16 with two land cyclers and four of these. That might seem good. I could probably get away with something like this, actually. Um, so then we need to cut five cards. One. Two, three. Um. We have, now that we have the horn and this, that seems like a lot of token generation. It's also really good with this, the horn. Um, maybe the knots is unnecessary. I think the mouth of Sauron with having all of these could be pretty good. This might just make a really big dude. Um, 
Maybe we'll scout the Gale. This deck seems really nice. All right. Uh, yeah, and I think the card should be this right here. Wait, where is it? Yeah, because maybe three of these is a lot. Maybe we don't need to play that many of this thing. If we make this so it costs four with these, it's like cost five. It's pretty good. Yeah, it seems good. We'll give it a shot. Might be a little excessive, but it is one of the payoff cards for our deck. So, a 4 4 flying vigilance. It's pretty good. I mean, Sarah Angel been pretty good for quite a while. Yeah, I think we keep this. Even though we don't have any white, we might... I mean, we're on the draw. We have a birthday escape. I think it should be pretty good. Or maybe we just draw a planes turn one, and then we can hold the escape for turn three. What are you doing, dude? Playing slow, that's what he's doing. Hey, he's back. Yeah, we'll do this now. Alright. Really need a white. Come on, yes. All right. Mm. I think playing this guy's pretty good. It can get in front of the Cavalier. It's more just develops our board a little bit. Could do the fog on his now school, but I don't think that's necessary. Not yet. I mean, I'll block here. He wants to use a removal on our guy. That's totally fine. Bitter and bitter downfall. Okay. Um. Hmm. I think I'm gonna kill off his guy. Let's let's kill it with the fog though. Because he might play something that's more important to or that the fog won't deal with, but the banish will. Okay. That's fine. Make sure it doesn't screw us over. Kill this guy off. Clear our land. Say go. So now we have one, two, three already in there for this. Okay. And I guess if we draw a land, we'll play the... This guy. Kept his land. We go to eight. Okay. Let's play with this. Multiple bodies. Mill ourselves. Oh, we milled the horn. That sucks. Not the card I'm trying to mill. But it's okay. Probably just take one of the 4-4 four, four flyers, but feels bad because we have two of them, but. Okay. 
Okay. He can't attack. Let's see. Guess we could play both of these. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of like that. We'll get... Rosie, I guess. Saruman's pretty good, too. I think we'll get Rosie. No attacks. Gonna hold back. Okay. Rosie gains us life. Um, and if we can draw multiple cards, it goes really good with the prince. Double torment and golem is kind of, kind of annoying because he makes that a 4 4, but we can just double block it. All right, search for another legendary. I think I'm just gonna get a bird. Oh, for some reason I thought he took the bird. Yeah, that was not the best pick. Um, I probably should have got the scry guy or something. Okay, we'll make uh, this guy the ring bearer. <laughs> dude, look at that. He's just off of it already. He takes eight. Wow, he's at twenty, dude. You're not dead. You're gonna you're gonna take a beating this turn, but you're not dead. That was an impressive showing for this deck. I don't know if I should have kept this hand. I was not really paying attention. This hand does not look good. Well, we have horn, so I mean, how bad does it look, actually? Hopefully we can just draw a third land. We can draw a third land on three. We're probably looking good. All I want to do is draw, is draw lands the rest of the game. Not six drops. All right. Okay. All right, all right. Don't look like we're in good shape anymore. He's about to play like another creature and then we're just boned. Two more creatures? Nice. And do this. Okay, didn't even hit our land. Yeah, we're dead here. Next turn, this is just going to pop. He's going to play another creature. We're just... Missed too many lands there. I should have mulliganed that. That's my mistake. Definitely should have mulliganed. All right. Especially because I think we went down to 16 lands. And we know we have four of the birthday escape and the island cyclers. So, I mean, I don't know. It's hard. 
Okay. Sand looks reasonable. Um, do I want to cast this yet? I don't think so. We have multiple of that guy on turn two that we want to. It wants us to play multiple cards a turn, so. Or draw multiple cards a turn. We could also just save it for turn six to play it in tandem with this guy. Get out this guy. Uh, mm. One or more tokens would be made. You get multiple. Okay. So now they're. Okay. This is kind of rough. All right. Well, we might just be dead now. We'll just put this on it. What is Ward 1? Ward 1, yeah. Okay. The next turn we can play Mouth of Sauron. This is when you attack with two creatures, right? So it's pretty good that he only has one attacking at the moment. We'll play out this. So we can mill him. Yeah, we'll mill him. Old Man Willow. Okay. It's pretty good that we hit Old Man Willow, so. Okay, we're going to cast this. Draw a card. Bring Temp to this guy. Play out this guy. Or do we play this? I think it's better to just play this. Okay, Frodo's good. Frodo's big. Um... He's in his attack phase, he's just like, doesn't realize it. Okay, so we can play out this guy. Play a land. Cast this, draw three cards, trigger that, get a human. Attack for four in the air, four, five. Okay. Okay, that int is big. He gets two humans, or food. Okay. Sacrificing both. Okay. He revealed that dude. Okay, let's double block here. Then we take five, go to six. Um, we also just throw a human in front. One one's not going to do much. All right, yeah, let's I think that's fine. Okay, we'll put this on his guy. Play out this guy. Play out this guy. We have second scry and the ring temps. Uh, yeah, I think we'll keep that on top. Ring scry into... The orc. Tech for four. I kind of want both of these, so I kind of don't want to attack with it right now.
Yeah, I'm just gonna attack for four. Okay. Playing multiple cards. Okay, that one's kind of annoying because it can give trample to something. Okay. Draw. Uh, just like, we'll little do ring bearer on it now. Now we can attack with both. I take your lumps. Play another one. Keep the ring on it. We're at stage four of the ring. This deck is good. I'm really enjoying this deck. Okay. All right. Easy. Okay, two and one. The game we lost was because I what did not pay attention. I just kept a hand that was not capable. Sorry, doing something. All right. Um. Yeah, this hand looks good. Two drop. Um. We might draw one of our. Uh, I wonder if I land cycle this. I think I should. I think I'm going to. Thins our deck a little bit. Get us closer to swamps. Um. We also have those four of those things that want us to draw. Um. Uh, what are they called? Like the birthday escape, you know, so it just gets us, you know, just a two and a half percent closer to many cards that we want to be playing. So Okay. Bobo, good card. Mm. Kind of annoying. And if we can draw one of those birthday songs here, it'd be pretty good. Alright, Bilbo's at stage two. Yeah, birthday song would be good. We'd be able to play out a 4 4. Make a 1 1 soldier. Attack for two. Instead, we're just. Jamming out our 4 4 and saying go. So that's hard to kill, but it's not hard to kill with the 4 3. Maybe I just offer the trade. I think I should. We do have a lot of uh, ways to catch, cast multiple cards in a turn. But I just don't want to be taking tons of damage. Yeah, look at him. He's already got seven mana. Ugh, Gandalf the Grey. Such a good card. Kind of sucks that we have three legendaries in our hand. 
Hopefully he like spends mana to kill it. But if he's spending mana to kill it, then he's probably killing the other card too. Um with Gandalf. Yeah. Yeah, kind of brutal. And another scary thing about this is even when we stabilize, right, he almost certainly has a Gandalf sanction in his deck. So it's like, well, that card just straight up kills us already, kind of. Not really, but you know it's gonna. Damn, that guy's big. What a turn. Okay, surprised he didn't attack with Gandalf the Grey as well. Okay, take a bunch of damage. Yeah, if he had attacked with Gandalf, we could have, like, offered a trade, but then the other guy is still alive. This is, like, a lot of damage. Okay. Play my third. Yeah, this is pretty rough. Bilbo's just made so much extra mana. Drawn and discarded him so many extra cards. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, we're gonna play this guy. Attack for five. If he kills it, it's like pretty rough. Yeah, he returned it to our hand. It's gonna blast us for three. Okay. Huh. I think, yeah, we should do this. I don't think any of it's any good, but... He, like, counters this or something. We can just go to our next... Go to the next game. Okay. Just returns it. I'm just gonna... We're dead. Game was a dead. We were dead a long time ago, to be frank. Who's Frank? All right, come on, man. Come on, man. I don't know if this deck is any good or if it's. I feel like it's very dirtily. Um, no white mana, two cyclers. <sighs> and mulligan. Alright, this hand's better. Put back one of these. Yeah, this seems fine. Don't think I'm going to jam this out yet. Don't, don't think it's necessary. I'll do it when I'm, like, kind of be missing land drops and shit. For sure. Um, maybe slightly sooner. I like the idea of playing this and then the next turn being able to, you know, cast multiple spells, though. Alright. Pretty good.
All right. Instant V divination. All right. Hey, that's pretty good. It's a lot of um, value he's generating. Okay, go get our swamp. Play out a second island. Hopefully the ward makes it so this guy can't be killed quite yet. If he attacks for two, I'd probably just take it. I mean, we know he's got this thing in hand. I guess he can just kill it straight up. I'm dumb. I'm a dummy. Guess I should have waited a turn to at least get one trigger out of it. I'm gonna do this and then target. I guess we're actually probably gonna be targeting him, right? He's probably got so many. Okay, we get a 4 4. That's good. Hmm. Huh. Just jamming that seems weird. I got to attack with my 4 4 still. Okay, he's like tapping our guy down. Okay. Cypher 4. If he triple blocks, I'm okay with that. Wow. No, I'm less okay with that. Fuck, dude. Okay, I'll take both of these cards. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to play this out. Give ourselves... We have, we have two humans now. Then we need to start compounding. So if he doesn't kill this right away, we, he's going to lose. Now we can just play a land and say go. I guess I'll attack for one. I could see him drawing multiple cards next turn too. See him casting like one of those island cyclers or whatever. Mm -hmm. I think I am going to just block block. Yeah, it's less guys we get to make, but it's less damage we're taking, and I think that's totally fine. Play this. Okay. Um, do I want to do this on his guy now? I think so. And I still have enough energy to do this and activate the horn, so. And maybe Bowmaster if he goes and, like, draws three cards or something. Hehehe. <laughs> See, it feels so bad. Ooh, that's scary. Okay. 
But now I'm happier with my block earlier, too, because if we were any lower, this card could just get us. I feel like the only way he gets out of this is casting multiple spells in a turn. Okay, hold on. In response, Orcish Bowmaster. Shoot you for one. We take two. You tap Scry. Shoot you for another one. Get another dude. Or our guy grows bigger. Play this, and let's scry. Let's see, do I want that next turn? Uh, nah, I think let's find something better. Okay. Um, I guess he could string together three draw card spells and then win. Draw a card. We shoot you for one. So now if he has two instants, we lose. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought he was slow rolling me. Alright, what a hell of a game. Oof. Alright, well... At worst, we got our three wins. You know, at worst, we're going to go three and three, 50 50. Um, yeah, this is capable. Mainly because we have this. Look, dude, this and this together. We can go search up a planes on turn two, cast this guy turn three, turn four, it's just like over. Let's do it now. I'll slide it over. I don't want to accidentally misclick. Okay. Play out. Well, I guess it's better to play the horn first, right? Say okay, human. Hmm. Because this won't go on anything. Yeah, let's play the horn. Force him to have, like, removal right now or die. Okay. No blocks. Play out. Um, do this and make a second guy. Play this. This guy grows to become a 2-2. Two -two. I really am scared of him killing the thing, so I think I'm just going to just say go. Obviously, if having Rosie in play and shit would be really good here, but I actually should have. If I plan on doing the horn no matter what, 
I shouldn't have, uh, shouldn't wait. I should just do it. My turn? What? You didn't even attack? What? Why? Why not? Why aren't you attacking? Okay. Um. If we had something that cost two mana, it would be so good to be able to do this and another thing. I feel like I just want to play out of... Well, if we cast this... Huh. We're gonna play Sauron. So if we draw our land next turn. Yeah, we're gonna take some damage this turn, and that's alright. It is kind of scary when he has the fiery inscription, but you know, it is what it is. Okay. Block like that. He's gonna pump his guy or something. Okay. I'm okay with that. Okay, can we draw a land? Damn. That's still pretty do fucking good, though. Hmm. Yeah. If Rosie lives, we just fucking win. Okay, that's kind of scary. Makes it so less spells kill us, but... We can also just kill it with the Orcish Bowmaster. Shoot this. Dies. We take one. This counter is going to go on to... This dude. Shoot you for one. Okay. Okay, so, so now we... Man. I think we just do this. Make two more one ones. Make... to just make like this guy a four four make this guy a three three sacrifice this gain some life attack for four yeah it seems good can't block it with his 5-5. Five, 3-3 five. Three, three can block his 2-1. Yeah, our blocks seem good. Days off it. Do, do, do. I like this deck. Oh, those are good. Aren't those good? Those are pretty good to pick up. Those are blue. Uh, well, it's funny because I know they're good in Legacy, but I mean, will they be good in on Arena? Who knows?
All right, this hand looks good. Two drop. I mean, if this guy can live till turn four, should be nice. Nice. Ooh. Hey, and there's our swamp. So we have all our colors. I think we're going to keep this. So we already have four lands in hand. What's the point? Okay. I will get in front of this guy. Wow, he didn't want to attack. Cool. Okay. Man, everybody's been playing this fiery inscription card. It's weird because it's a card that if you tell me that, you know, it's going to be in my opening hand, I'm going to play, like, I'll take, draft it super high, but you can't promise that, so. Ah. Pissed he killed our guy. Okay, let's see. Bottom, bottom. Man. Stage three already. Um, five mana. I think we have to put this on this guy. Draw. I'm gonna attack. He wants to double block, I'm okay with that. We're still at 15, which is pretty high. Okay, that's an interesting attack with his 1-1s. One wonder what this is. Nothing? He just felt like throwing away a guy? Okay. Could do this on his dude. I think I'm going to. Hold on. First I'm going to cast Rosie, though. See if he has a counter spell. Okay. Attack for three. Okay. It's huh? It's kind of rough, but hey, whatever. He will play this and kill off this guy. Ooh. That's a card. That is a card. It's also shitty that, like, the ring tempt put it put him at stage four. Yeah, well, we gotta play this. Back for one. Oh man. He kept that on top so fast. Okay. Let's cast this. Huh. Yeah, I think we actually want to keep a black up. Black and blue up seems like the right ones to keep. Okay, we'll cast this. To a mass. This is going to go on to Sauron, draw, make Sauron the ring bearer, I guess. No, we could also make the orc army, make the army, um, attack for five. Okay. Oh, he just gets a 6-6 six, six flying haste guy. Okay. Uh, haste, right? Yeah, alright. Good game. Damn. Um, 
yeah, I guess we couldn't really do anything about it. Ah, I like this deck. I really liked this deck. It seemed like it was a lot of fun to play. I would have liked to perform a little bit better. Um, I feel like it had some really, really powerful cards and really could have performed better. I think the consistency of this deck was actually fairly high. Um, yeah, I think this deck actually underperformed. Um, probably pilot error. I don't know. Uh, but I really had a lot of fun, and I hope you all did too. Catch you all on the flip side. Kick ass, take names, and obtain. Like, comment, subscribe. Be kind to yourself and others. Peace.